T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. The program is in right on time. 180 operating on the first of the bus, as expected. And rattling down to 76%. Program complete. And MSL is now breaking the sound barrier. There be chamber pressures and following it on the curve. Everything will And we pass through Max Q. We're on closed loop on Atlas PU. Signatures as expected. SRB profile continues to look nominal, throttling back up to 100% thrust on the RD-180. Engine parameters looking good. Flight control disturbances look as expected. SRB pressures running right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. 10 seconds to SRB jet. And we have first pair and second pair, both sets of SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5G limit coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Bearing jet. And we also have a successful CFLR jettison. But as expected, throttling up on the RD-180, everything looks